Hey, good morning, everybody. All right, so we're back here at the hangar for a little bit more action and uh, keep doing the uh, good work on the Phantom here. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually really nice today. Uh, it's not scorching hot like it has been previously and as you can see the weather is really nice so uh, you guys may hear some cool stuff in the background uh, with our air show coming up next month uh, plenty of warbirds are going to be flying around because uh, the local museum uh, has plenty of warbirds uh, lately I've been seeing a bunch of Stearman some T6 Texans and there's a B25 that flies up uh, quite a bit so uh, we're gonna you might hear some stuff in the background today, and if I get the opportunity, I'll get the camera out and uh, uh, show I'm going overhead. All right, everyone, so I'm just going through the hydraulic mule. I got the manual out, getting this thing set up. This thing still has a lot of air in the system, so I'm just going through step by step and getting this thing all set up and ready so we can get the, the Phantom going. And that'll be coming up here in the next few weekends. We get put hydraulic power to it and get that service and uh, get it ready. This certainly isn't the most glamorous side of aviation, yet it is an important one. Without the various pieces of ground equipment in good operating condition, performing certain maintenance items on the F-4 and our other aircraft gets a lot harder. This hydraulic cart allows us to service and operate the aircraft hydraulic systems without needing to run its engines. pushed out. Just so you guys can see what I'm working on here. So the hydraulic mule is three separate hydraulic systems that can function independently of each other. You got blue, green, and red. And you can see if we got the sight gauges for them. And some of these are a little bit low, as you can see here and here. Uh, the blue side is completely empty. So I'm gonna get this filled up uh, before we run it up and try to bleed all the air out. Got those filled up. Uh, it's time to start this bad boy.
takes care of the mule for now. All right, we'll let this cool off and I'll roll it back in. All right, so going with the theme of gas powered stuff. So we had the mule uh, that I got sitting outside still cooling down. I uh, tried to get uh, one of our tugs, uh, what we call old timer, which is also gas powered and it's our only other uh, gas powered item that we have here. However, when I jumped on it to try to start it, nothing happened and then so I popped the hood and I'm oh, surprised there's no battery in it. So what I got going on here is I hooked up the battery charger so I can get a battery going so we can get this tug operational too. So I'm going to have to wait till next weekend to try, uh, try to play with that. So in the meantime, letting the uh, hydraulic mule cool down before I push it back in as well. So like I mentioned before, I'm trying to make this as 100% as, as I can, uh, you know, blowing all the air out of the, all the hydraulic systems, getting this thing as as good a condition as I can make it before we hook it up to the F4. Uh, like you saw in previous videos, I got the, uh, we have pulled plenty of the hydraulic filters on that. So uh, the more I can get this thing uh, running good, the easier of a time we'll have purging the air and filling up the uh, Phantom's hydraulics um, before we uh, do an engine start or any of that, uh, any of the, uh, the live testing that'll involve the engines. So, uh, trying to get this thing going and, uh, got a huge amount of the air out of it and all three of the systems. This thing has three independent hydraulic systems. Pretty successful at that today. Got a couple of leaks I need to tighten up and check on. Uh, but beyond that, uh, this cart is as good as I can make it. And, uh, We'll get her going and uh you guys will see that in an upcoming video when we actually put it to the jet so the plan is with the phantom when we hook this thing up is to uh one fill up the hydraulic systems as uh we did uh and when we pulled the filters off we did lose some fluid and then so we fill it up and then we'll operate all of the hydraulic system so all the flight control surfaces the the air refuel door anything and everything uh, hydraulic. I'm not sure if we're gonna put it on jacks and swing the gear. I don't know if it's due for that or not, but everything else on there that is hydraulically powered will get operated to make sure there's no air remaining in the system. And then that's yet another step in the process, get this thing back in the air. And uh, we're getting close, so I'm getting excited about this. All right, guys, that's, uh, that's all I got for this week. Uh, not a whole lot of, that I did onto the Phantom today because most of my work was on the, the mule, but uh, we'll keep her going. Like I said, we're going to get her ready, and we want her back in the air. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.